My name is Specialist Steven Reed. I'm from Crestview, Florida. I'm a 42 Alpha. My name is Corporal Quincy Adams. I'm a Combat Documentation and Production Specialist. My name is Sergeant Timothy Basso. I'm a 25 Victor, a Visual Information Specialist. My name is Audrey Harper. I'm the Workforce Development Specialist for the DHR Garrison Humphreys. Um, where I'm from, I'm originally from Zambia. I was born there. And about 12 years old, we migrated to the States. Arlington, Virginia. It's Paul Holberts. I'm currently a contractor with the Military Personnel Division. The moment I realized that I wanted to join the Army was I sat down and had a talk with my aunt one day. She told me about all her past experiences and things she went through in her career. And I realized that joining wouldn't only be something I'm doing for myself, but for something bigger than myself. I was surrounded by a lot of strong black figures such as my father, grandfathers, and uncles. I am the fourth generation to serve in the armed forces, which brings me a great deal of pride knowing that I could carry on the legacy passed through the generations. I've been in the military for five years and have had a lot of experiences. I have three siblings and we all grew up with the notion or the understanding that charity begins at home. And that you know, explanation is based on the fact that how you raise your kids or your children is how they will go out in society. I'm from Oakland, California. And uh, I came from uh, right after the era of the uh, Black Panther movement. A moment that replays over and over in my head is seeing my younger brother get sentenced to 15 years in prison, but I also have other siblings. I can still remember my mother hysterically crying as I headed off to basic training. I was bullied for not the color of my skin, but just essentially the, the clothing that I, I'd wear. That positive influence from my parents and you know, the diversity that I experience, I carry it with me because, you know, in other countries, I'm also that other person or I'm, you know, as a foreigner as well. I was sheltered from a lot of the uh, blatant racism uh, that was seen back in that time. But I'm not ignorant of the uh, challenges that we have today. I set an example for letting them know that if there's anything that you want to do in this world, don't be scared to do it. You can do anything you put your mind to. Through the love and support of my family members is what pushes me to be better every single day. It's explaining this to my family, these two individuals that are both <laughs> majors in the military, they had always instilled into me that regardless of what and how other people treat you, you should always continue to treat those how you would want to be treated. When I work, I'm always looking at people and not judging them for who I think they should be but uh, giving them a chance to show me who they really are. I stand on the backs of giants that allow me to have the opportunities that I have today. I, I am, am the past, but also, also the future. future. I, I am, am black, black history. history.